Um, so look, I think we've had an absolutely fantastic conference. I've um, I've learnt so much over the last uh, three days. We had 450 people register this year, which is a record in the modern era, anyway, uh, since uh, IP has been running. Um, and over the last um, last two days, we've also had people voting for the best presentation. Um, so last night we gave the award for the best abstract that went to Tanya uh, for her work on health links. Um, and the winners, by popular vote, we had a tie uh, for the best presentations, um, was to uh, James Catty from IPA uh, for his presentation on the emergency care classification. And if you've been to a few ABF conferences, you'd know who to bet on if you were betting on who else would win a uh, best presentation. Uh, Denise and Jim also for their work on uh, emergency classification. It feels very familiar, doesn't it? Um, We've had a fantastic um, program. We had a, a fantastic presentation yesterday from Andrew Street, uh, who I think is still here somewhere, um, about how PROMS data can be used to inform decision making for patients. And through that, we got to meet his mum. He never mentioned the outcome she had, though, so I'm a little concerned. Uh, we heard Christine Bennett give us a retrospective of the last 10 years of health reform and also her prescription for where we go to next. Uh, and then this morning, in the slot of death, um, Jason Sutherland really held us all um, uh, with his work on how variation and um, value and how we can think about building on the work of Porter and Teesburg in the real world, I guess, and in the, and in the Australian uh, situation, because it's not all quite as easy uh, as it seems to be in that formula. Um, running this conference is a really huge undertaking, and um, I've got to say I'm really lucky to work with a, a team at IPA who are um, fantastically good and all get involved, so it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Um, but we also have a, a very involved scientific committee, and I really would like to recognise them because they're the ones that have to wade through all of the um, abstracts. So uh, Tony Cunningham, um, Denise, Nicole Preddle, Joanne Sivaloglu, Jan Irvin, Brian Hanning, Keys Van Gool, uh, Sarah Neville, um, Sam Webster, Joanne Fitzgerald and Anna Flynn, thanks very much for all your hard work uh, on the scientific committee. Uh, to all of the abstract um, writers and presenters and those who did workshops particularly, because I know they are a lot of effort, um, having great abstracts and good presentations and great workshops is the difference between a, a mediocre conference and a really great conference and I think this year the quality of the abstracts and workshops really made a huge difference. So thanks very much to all of those people. Now, I, the Aranex, oh, yep, they've just slipped in. Um, so we've been very lucky to work with Aranex again this year uh, as our conference organisers. And Erin Kelly, um, Ashley Duggan and Melissa Murphy have all worked incredibly hard. You've seen them on the desks and in their pink jackets around the um, place. So please put your hands together for them. And then finally, hiding up at the back table, they don't want to come up on stage, but I really do need to thank uh, the fantastic comms team at IPA who really do carry the load on this. Um, so Ivana, Jessica, uh, two Jessicas in fact, Rachel, Stephen, um, Katie, and led by uh, Naomi, who has really put in a huge amount of hours and a lot of stress for her first conference with IPA. So um, absolutely fantastic work from the team. And um, they've had to work pretty hard dragging me and others into social media and, and little videos. And um, I know I'm not easy to work with sometimes, so thanks very much. So we really need your feedback. Um, conference participated rep uh, reported outcome measures are very important to IPA. Um, so please take the time to uh, fill in the post-conference survey, which is on the app. Um, we really are looking forward to welcoming you back um, in 2020 for the next conference. I think one of the key questions is where should we go next? So please, when you're filling out the survey, um, uh, give us your indication on that. 
So thanks very much once again for taking time out from your busy jobs. We've had a great week. Um, please, for those who are travelling home, travel safely, and we'll see you all again soon.